Our programmes include many languages. Please log on to our programme schedule for more details. suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule Nos programmes comprennent des émissions en plusieurs langues. Pour de plus amples informations, consultez suprememastertv.com baroblique schedule Nuestros programas incluyen muchos idiomas. Por favor ingrese al horario de nuestros programas para más detalles. suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule I nostri programmi includono molte lingue. Accedete al palinsesto dei nostri programmi per ulteriori dettagli a suprememastertv.com barra schedule. There are two main methods to reduce the risk of wildlife vehicle collisions. Changing animals' behavior by allowing them to access wildlife corridors and altering drivers' conduct by installing signs and speed bumps to warn them to slow down near WVC hotspots. Saving animal lives on roads with innovative technologies. Watch on to find out more. Hello, bright friends. We are honored to have Dr. Chen Zhiyuan, a computer science engineer, host our show entitled Saving Animal Lives on Roads with Innovative Technologies. Dr. Chen has a PhD in theoretical physics, and his career's goal has been to use supercomputers to aid data intensive scientific research endeavors. Over the years, he has been working in areas related to special and general purpose supercomputers and high performance computing HPC clusters, including specialized computer chip design, hardware maintenance, and system administration, as well as developing and optimizing scientific applications for use with such high end computers. For 20 plus years, Dr. Chen was a staff member of a top ranked US university's physics department. Currently, he is using his supercomputer expertise to assist with scientific research projects of great importance. Greetings, loving viewers. I'm Dr. Chen Zhiyuan from Considerate China. The kind Chinese people wish that heaven's grace always be upon you. On today's show, we will introduce you to inventive methods that help reduce the risk of vehicle wildlife collisions on world's roadways. Why did the chicken cross the road? This is a well-known riddle with the obvious answer, to get to the other side. But when it comes to real life, animals crossing roads or highways can be hazardous to both animals and humans. Roads and highways passing through the natural habitats of wildlife are a threat to the lovely animals living there. Our fellow beings may need to cross roads to find food and water or to evacuate in times of disaster. It is estimated that more than a million animals sadly lose their lives to wildlife vehicle collisions or WVCs each year in the United States alone. Causes of WVCs include lack of watchfulness among drivers, allowance of high road speeds, and traffic impeding cars from avoiding animals in their path. These collisions are most likely to occur at dawn or dusk and during the mating season when animals need to migrate. WVCs are sometimes the major cause of species decline and are particularly detrimental to endangered species. Humans can also be seriously injured in WVCs, which cause more than 200 fatalities in the United States each year. The cost of property damage due to wildlife vehicle collisions is estimated to be more than 1 billion US dollars annually. The good news is that more people are becoming aware of WVCs and their negative impact on both wildlife and humans. 
There are two main methods to reduce the risk of wildlife vehicle collisions. Changing animals' behavior by allowing them to access wildlife corridors, and altering drivers' conduct by installing signs and speed bumps to warn them to slow down near WVC hotspots. Building wildlife corridors over or beneath roadways to help animals cross has proven to be an effective mitigation method. Many examples show that these passages dramatically reduce the WVC rate. For example, in Alberta, Canada's Banff National Park, 40 corridors for wildlife along 83 kilometers of Trans-Canada Highway have been constructed in the past 30 years. Studies have shown that at least 11 species of large mammals use these corridors frequently, reducing accidents by more than 80%. The designs of the corridors include overpasses and underpasses. Interestingly, research has also found that grizzly bears, moose, wolves, elk, and deer tend to use overpasses, while cougars and black bears tend to use underpasses. In addition, according to the Colorado Department of Transportation in Colorado, USA, Wildlife corridors across roadways have reduced WVCs by almost 90%. Remote cameras reveal that deer, coyotes, raccoons, and other small animals use these passages daily to move across busy roads. The Colorado Department of Transportation and the Colorado Parks and the Wildlife are working on a study to identify key wildlife crossing spots in the state to maximize effectiveness of these crossings. We will be right back with more loving technologies that help save animals on our roadways. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Saving Animal Lives on Roads with Innovative Technologies. Our host, Dr. Chen Zhiyuan, will now discuss more ways science is protecting our animal friends from danger on highways. In recent years, technological advancements have brought about alternative methods to protect wildlife on roadways. Australia's Tasmania state possesses picturesque scenery, but at the same time is plagued by serious wildlife vehicle collision issues. This is due in part to the state's abundance of medium-sized nocturnal animals, narrow twisting roads, and high-speed limits. Thus, since 2014, the Tasmanian government has been conducting a study to explore a new technologic solution called the Virtual Fence System. The system consists of small devices mounted on poles 25 meters apart along roadside, forming a virtual fence. When triggered by vehicle headlights, the devices emit sound and LED light that alert animals and prevent them from crossing. The sound and light are directed away from the road so that drivers are not distracted. The study's results were recently published in the journal Australian Mammalology, reporting that the virtual fence system has reduced WVCs on the installed stretch of road by a remarkable 50%. The animals benefiting from the reduced accident rate include Bonnet Wallaby, the Tasmanian Paddy Melon, and the endangered Tasmanian Devil and the Tiger Crow. This result shows that the virtual fence system also serves as an important tool for wildlife conservation. The researchers hope that further testing and optimization of the system will result in an even greater decline in the WVC rate. 
Future mitigation of road care on Tasmania's roads relies on the collection of road care data around the state to identify hotspots that could then be targeted with the installation of these devices, says Dr. Samantha Fox, the lead author of the research. Another example of roadway protection for animals enabled by technology is the roadside animal detection system, which consists of motion sensors designed to perceive large animals such as deer, elk, moose, and bear. After sensing such animals, the system puts up warning signs such as flashing lights or electronic messages hundreds of meters or a few kilometers around the detected site, giving drivers time to slow down. Animal detection systems are found to be much more effective than static warning signs and can reduce the number of collisions by 90%. Today, these systems are being widely implemented in many countries, including the USA, Canada, various European nations, and Brazil. The systems are powered by solar panels and backup batteries and can operate without downtime. Different technologies are employed to detect animal crossings, for example, active infrared, laser, microwave, and seismic sensors have been installed and tested. Sometimes a combination of multiple sensing technologies is used to give the most accurate result. Some detection systems are also equipped with data loggers to record the road crossing data of animals, facilitating studies of animal movement dynamics. Mobile technology also adds in protecting animal and human lives on roads. Mitigation projects require an accurate, standardized wildlife vehicle collision database. That includes information on WVC hotspots and animal species and their crossing patterns. The database helps determine where to apply mitigation measures and the proper techniques. In the past, WVC data was maintained with paper records, and extracting essential information could be laborious work. Everything was on paper forms and was being collected by many different individuals, says Dr. Daniel Olson, an American wildlife biologist leading the development of the smartphone app Wildlife Vehicle Collision Reporter. Nowadays, WVC data can be easily collected by citizens with an app of this kind on their smartphones. Such apps allow users to add WVC sightings to the database when they see diseased animals on the road. Thus, through the use of WVC report apps, citizen scientists contribute to compiling a database that is larger, more accurate, and more easily accessible than our paper records. A compiled WVC database can also be linked to warning systems to alert drivers of potential road hazards due to the WVCs. In addition, WVC data contain information about wildlife populations and their migratory patterns, which can be valuable for further research. We are truly grateful for the technologies that lead to the loving protection of both animals and humans on our roadways. We look forward to more brilliant technological advances that will contribute to the harmonious coexistence of humans and other beings on our beautiful planet. Enthusiastic viewers, thank you for your valued presence today for our show, Saving Animal Lives on Roads with Innovative Technologies. Next up is Buddhist Stories, Treasure Cat Food, Bilala Pataka, Part 2 of 3 on Between Master and the Disciples, right after Noteworthy News. May all of your days be filled with joy and happiness in divine love and blessings. For more details, and to check out our schedule for language availability, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash GAT 
and the suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Pour plus d'informations et pour consulter le programme des langues disponibles, visitez suprememastertv.com baroblique G-A-T et suprememastertv.com baroblique schedule. Para más detalles y consultar nuestro horario para la disponibilidad de idiomas, por favor visite suprememastertv.com para inclinada G-A-T y suprememastertv.com com barra inclinada schedule. Per ulteriori dettagli e per verificare la disponibilità delle lingue del nostro palinsesto, visitate suprememastertv.com barra GAT e suprememastertv.com barra schedule.